G'day everyone, welcome. Oh, my name is Chrissy. Welcome to Xrus Art. Uh, okay, still on the pumpkin pro uh, project. I'm seeing, uh, seeing as it's um, Halloween month, I thought that, uh, well, I'm not doing scary pumpkins, but I'm doing pumpkins um, using uh, pen pastels, pastel pencils on pastel mat. Um, I have a whole heap of tools which are around and me I've got my pan pastels I've got some uh, brushes which uh, today I'm going to and there are two things I wanted to try out uh, someone kindly uh, send me sent me um, a couple of Carandash pastel pencils I don't have the set I th I th I've been holding out on these ones because they're really expensive. <laughs> what art supply is not expensive? But anyway, um, interesting to note that it gives you star ratings for high, for light fastness and stuff like that. It, they're actually pretty good because they give you um, colours on here. Uh, they've got the number and they've got the colour of what the pastel pencil could be. Um, I'm told that they're soft. I have tried them. They are soft. Sometimes they're too soft. G'day, Cherry. Hi, Janice. Thank you for um, uh, thank you for moderating the stream today. Lovely. And yes, so I'm going to get stuck into it. But what I wanted to do in a little bit, I'm going to need. Uh, I want to modify these brushes. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going. These these are nail clippers, but they're not for my nails. I've got them in my paint box because I modify brushes with them. It's not very hygienic if I do it that way, is it? So I'm going to do that. G'day Shandri, evening from my brand new high-end gaming PC. I've been having a look at your uh, posts, Shandri, and I was horrified when your computer just went bleh. Um, but it's good. And I saw the post that you've got it, that you've got this you know your computer a uh, new computer Nuria hello hello how are you going hello welcome my old PC didn't want to turn on anymore on Tuesday I think it was that was it it wasn't gonna happen anymore anyway so I'm going to continue uh, I've got some glassine paper here I've got some paper towels I've got my cheapy sharp sharpeners uh, what else have I got that's that I could possibly tell you that you can't see that's around me? But anyway, that's the lot. Hi, Ali. Hello, Kissy Cat. Hello, how are you going? I like there's a that's a nice little ring to it. That name, Kissy Cat. I like that. That's really cute. Uh, and I uh, yeah, okay. I, I meant to say that. I've I've seen you come in so many times, and I meant to say that. All right. So I've got the pumpkin uh, on the. Is it up the top there, top left hand corner? And I'm going to be tackling this area and this area. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to start with pastel pencils. I've got a whole heap of them here, just so you can see. Ugh, there we go. I've got them around me here. So um, it's interesting the colors that. Um, and I probably won't need all that much, but um, I've just got a group of them as well. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I need to get to this bit down here. So what I might do is I might push a little bit. There we go. I'll push a little bit there. There, there we go. I hope everyone's week has been well. I um, hope you've all, you know, all is good on your side of the fence. Uh, Shandri, sometimes YouTube makes my text disappear when I type something and with an uh, emoticon. I don't know about that. I don't have... Where did that emoticon... Oh, I don't know, my dear. I, I don't know. YouTube does funny things. Um... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have, I, you know, I don't have anything that would, you know, because sometimes when you go on YouTube, um, you know, you there are certain words that 
you don't want. And of course, for me, it's swearing words, but it's not really like it's just I don't have much. Um, so I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. YouTube does funny things. You know how I get bots sometimes? Sometimes I get bots and I'm thinking, now where did that come from? Same type of thing. Yes. So I'm not sure, Shandri. I don't know. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ali says, Chrissy, what are the the dumbest laws in Australia? Oh, look, I don't know. I think everyone... I Look, I wouldn't know. Um... I, try, I stay away from politics. I stay away from, you know, those kind of subjects only because, you know, I don't have the time for it. You know, I've just, you know, other people um, can stress about it more than me. But I don't know, to be honest. That's my question. That's my answer. Um, unusual question. Um, oh, oh, it's okay. It happens only on YouTube. It just deletes the whole sentence. I have no idea. G'day, Kathy. Hello, my dear. How are you going? Um, um, yes. All right. Um, okay, another thing I wanted to... Oh, I'll, first of all, I'll get all of this out of the business end of, the, uh, of, um, uh, of what I wanted to get through out of the way. Uh, please don't forget that um, for those who are interested, it's only for those who are interested... Uh, I have a Patreon channel. Um, Patreon channel is where I um, I show you real-time step-by-step projects. And what happens is that um, I get quite a few requests on certain things. So if you want to request on how to do a particular something, uh, we do it in a project form. So therefore, like at the moment, we have uh, three projects on the go. Uh, reason for that is um, I had some requests. We had a we've got a a, port, a surreal portrait um, on the go, and that was because we were practicing skin tones, and so we did it in a so we're practicing in a form of a project. It's always in a form of a project. Uh, also, um, uh, we're doing. I was asked to do a um, if we could do a dapple grey horse. Uh, I didn't know what a, I mean, I didn't know a dapple grey until I researched it. And I went, oh, it's a grey horse, but it's different. There's a different face. Uh, for those for those people who are in, who know horses, it, it has a, just a, a slightly different face, but uh, soft greys and um, a, spot, um, a few selection of uh, black spots here and there. It's not like a, it's not like a, a Dalmatian type thing. You know what I mean? But it's all soft. So we're doing that. And of course, it's a surreal one. It's Of course, it's going to be a surreal one. <laughs> um, and uh, we're doing one of the um, one of the inspirations from uh, Share Your Art with x Art. We're doing an, an ice cream painting. But it's a really unusual one. Uh, for those who are not um, uh, members of Share Your Art with x Art. And uh, it's a surreal ice cream of which Cherry, uh, thank you Janice for that, um, of which uh, Cherry has completed and she has posted it and it's absolutely unreal. Like I just can't believe it. It's just, well, I can believe it because she's very good, but it's just unreal, unreal. So I'm so pleased. And um, yes, and for... You know, like for two cups of coffee a month, you're gonna, you'll be getting uh, about 12 hours, 12 hours a month of, um, of um, you know, art. Uh, but we not only uh, we not only do art and of such, but we also do um, like I'll show you tips and tricks. I'll show you, uh, for example, at the moment I'm. Designing, um, I'm des I've given Photoshop the flick, and I'm design. Uh, and don't get me wrong, for all the Photoshop lovers, I love Photoshop. It is the Rolls Royce of design programs, in my opinion. But you know, it's you know you've got to be paying a subscription. Okay, so at the moment I don't have the resources, so 
in, uh, affinity photo is a one-off okay it is a one-off uh, it is a one-off and I paid it was about 80, 80 odd dollars uh, Australian okay this is Australian so US it would be far cheaper our dollar is so yuck um, so it would be much cheaper and it's for iPad and for uh, computer PC so you know anyway we'll talk about that a little later on again uh, also um, yeah so we do uh, I show you how um, I design on on there and which is really really cool uh, and of course it's you know step by step uh, there are a few people that have um, um, invested in that program and there's all sorts of things going on there so there is that uh, so these are the sorts of things that we do on patreon and it's mainly uh, mainly where um, I give you the confidence to do projects um, I just show you how how to do a particular activity but then you go off and then you do it in your style you know so um, yeah so that's that's patreon and that happens um, for me Monday nights I two sessions a week two one and a half sessions a week I do mine on Monday nights and Tuesday nights and of course it's on replay um, and um, and I do the lives I do the lives um, so there's that that's out of the way um, Nuria says um, I've had a very busy week my son has broken the tendon in his right arm and they had to operate oh geez thank God everything has gone well my goodness oh it's it's really you know it's well I hope he's okay I hope and um, well you're saying he's okay so that's cool um, uh, let me see oh you're welcome cherry um, Okay, Ali says, um, have you tried, changing tune here, uh, uh, have you tried rose milk cake? No, but it sounds nice. Um, I have tried it and it's gorgeous. Ooh. Um, it's served uh, with single cream. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. Um, also, have you heard of rose milk tea? No, I have not. Haven't tried it, only rose syrup with milk. Um, I, ha I have tried... Um, uh, it uh, rose um, rose water though very nice um, I have tried that um, hi Abigail hello there how you going nice to see you nice to see you okay all right just getting down here to do uh, oh no, that's the wrong one. Ah, look, this is what's happened, you see. This is wrong. Wrong one. I was, I was looking at this pumpkin and I did it here. Well, here's another thing. Thank heaven for um, needed erasers because uh, it will pick up. Oh, I say that, but it will. Um, Uh, it will pick up pastel. <laughs> ah, there we go. Just dab, really. That's what we should do. So I don't destroy the tooth. No, oh, that's okay. That'll do. Um, I was going in the wrong place. Let me go back there again. Yes, so, and uh, of course, you know, we have Share Your Art with, with XRISART. Uh, XRISART is a Facebook page where we continue the conversation. Uh, so this is where we, um, uh, this is where we, you know, we share our art. We share tips and tricks. We share websites where we think it's useful for the group. Where we sh and we share other YouTube videos. If you wanted to share your art page, you could do that, and we could all support you. Um, 
so yes it's um something yes it's it's that so um uh, i do have the dis i do have the links in the description box below but um hopefully the links work i'm thinking the last time i looked it did but you never know um eating crisps and watching art what more do you need on friday night i ask you that <laughs> it's very good um, very entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mentioned before that I'm going to hack up some brushes today because I'm after a particular, yes, well not only have I hacked it, but I've even hacked it on this side. Um, anyway. And of course, you know, uh, another disclaimer I just wanted to mention, um, I use I use uh, all kinds of tools for pan pastels. I will use anything. I will use the soft tools, which the soft tools and applicators are made specifically for pan pastel. Pan pastels, the unique part about pan pastels, they don't pay me to say this, so they don't even know I'm even saying this. Um, they are specifically made for little to no dust okay when you're using the soft tools okay it's a sponge and it's quite dense um, so and they, they come in sponges and applicators like this so um, but then I'll take it one step further and I'll use all kinds of brushes it doesn't matter what they are you know so long as I'm going to get the um, you know, these are all kinds of different brushes here that I'm using. It's, it's not a specific kind. Um, although these ones, the Eco Tool ones, are ones that I've been using a lot, or mostly. Um, but yeah, so it it, it all depends. Uh, you'll have to pardon the dogs today, as usual. They're very energetic. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much. Um, if if I have one sip of wine, I'll fall asleep. Can't have it. <laughs> well, just hang in there for, um, let me see, another hour or so. <laughs> if you can, Abigail. Oh, well. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah. That's funny. And, of course, I use my paper towel. Um... I use my paper towel for, oh, where did it go? I need my black. Um, let's just do that. Um, and of course this, uh, the palette that I'm using, my little paper palette, it is, uh, I'm using an ingress, ingress, like a ingress pastel paper, but it's toned and not, it doesn't have to be pastel paper. I'm more concerned with the color of it. Um, I, I used to use white, and uh, and Janice was the one who said to me, you know, it would be a good idea to maybe. What have you thought of using? Um, you know, have you thought of using like tone paper? And I go, what a bloody good idea! Why did I not think of it? Because you know, oil painters like wet paint. Uh, when I say wet media, like oil painting and um, acrylic painters, you know, the palettes that you have, maybe on a glass palette, and some artists will put, you know, they'll tone it, so they can, it sort of helps them with mixing, you know, because it's already that neutral colour, so it helps you go light or it go dark. Do you know what I mean? So this is why I've now turned to that. But for a long time I was using white, and there's nothing ro wrong with that. Um, it's just that that's what I've that's what I'm using right now you know and it's all about discovering and experimenting new things and so um, and if we're talking about experimenting um, Kathy was experimenting uh, this is on on patreon we talked about mixing colors and so Kathy was going to go away and uh, mix colors to make colors like if you didn't have a particular green um, when you have a look at the hang on when you have a look at the pigment information 
you know, it can help you with uh, mixing if you're starting to get to know, um, um, you know, pigments and stuff like that. But yeah, so experimenting, it's all about, it's all about that. And heck, I've done a heck of it on and off line and uh, shared what um, I have found. So, yes. Uh, this time... Okay, you're having breakfast with tea. Oh, that sounds lovely, Kathy. Um, and Nuria says, I'm drinking a cup of tea. Oh, that's lovely. Um, this t uh, Nuria says, this time with you relaxes me after this week. Oh, look, that's such a, a lovely thing to say. Thank you so much, Nuria. That's so sweet for saying that. Um, oh, well, that's good. That's good. You know, I'm here to... I'm here to entertain. That's what I'm doing today. I'm entertaining. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and it's interesting with these colours that uh, I'm using. I'm looking at the reference and luckily I have colours which I've already got. For instance, the pumpkin, how we know it. Um, in Well, in these particular pumpkins where the green bit there are green bits, of course, but there are different kinds of greens. We talked about this last week as well. But this one is a uh, is the turquoise extra dark, and so I see that a lot here, you know. And um, luckily, I don't have to mix that colour. Um, well, well, I'm very close anyway. Uh, yes, here we go. Kathy says um, I mixed Hansa yellow and chromium oxide green to make bright yellow green cool stuff and I don't have uh, yeah that is so cool and uh, was impressed with the likeness yes yes and it's all about experimenting isn't it oh most definite yeah um, there's a little bit of this green here as well That's the chrome green there. Yeah, so if you're playing around with um, just mixing colours, this is a... I think the pastels are very good to do that. You could do, with the pans that is, uh, you couldn't do it, you couldn't... I mean, I suppose you could. I'm not saying that you couldn't, but... Th these are made for that. Do you know what I mean? That they're, they're, they're made for that. So that's why, you know... So if you're usually a sounds fine. If you use if you use if you usually paint with wet media, um, going to pan pastels will make things a lot easier as far as mixing. Yep. There we go. Uh, Abigail says I've discovered something new this week. Ooh. I wash my brush in water. Then wipe it on a wet, wet sponge, which I keep on a plate with water. The brush gets so clean. Oh, okay, you posted it on FB. I'm going to have a look at that. Love it. And this is what I mean. These are the sorts of things, when we say continue the conversation, then, of course, we talk about it, but then, well, you know, our friends here, all our friends here, we show what we do so that's why I encourage you to do that so and it's um quite fun because you get to know each other as well like it's just getting to know friends isn't it um yes so got to be careful how I've used this green because there are brighter greens so I'll just have to well I will tone it down quite bright this chrome green is absolutely beautiful I just love this green isn't it gorgeous yeah really really nice and I like the variation when you are really good for foliage uh, see this green is I mean all their greens are really really nice I've got to say but you know using the white of course um, and that's using that's the chrome green that's the shade and the chrome extra dark and it's using black a little bit each way 
and of course that's using the white to get the tint and that's for those who are just uh, stumbling on this and trying to figure pans out that's what that's all about uh, yeah uh, uh, and Kathy says Payne's Grey was very interesting here we go this is a good one here because we talked about it on Patreon I mixed ultramarine blue yellow ochre and black once again close uh, to know what colors to mix you see the pigment numbers on the pan pastel charts there you go see love it love it yes um Wow, and it's for, uh, sorry, Avagal, and that's for uh, when you're using acrylics as well. That's very interesting. I must try that trick. I've discovered, yeah. So, you do, um, I wash my brush in water, then wipe it on a wet sponge, which I keep on the plate which uh, with water. The brush gets so clean. Wow. See now, what made you, this is a good one, have a, well it's experimenting, I know, but what made you go, what made you think of that? I mean, because sometimes like I'll find, I'll, when I'm, uh, when I'm playing, it's always like by mistake, it's always by accident that I've, that that, you know, that I've discovered that, so I haven't sort of purpose, sometimes it's not always the case, but I don't always purposely go, well, let me see if this happens and this happens, which I do. Yeah. But sometimes I discover things where I don't even think about. And it just, and I'm thinking, oh, how did that happen? Do you know? Um, yes, Ali, I have tried creme brulee. It's very, very nice. I love it. Um, the caramelized, yes. Also, Poire Belle Hélène, poached pears. Have you tried? Ha uh, haven't tried it. Um, I do love eclair. Oh, I love chocolate eclair. Eclair au chocolat. <laughs> I hope I've said it right. Um, I haven't tried cream caramel. I've tried cream caramel. Also very nice. I recommend it. Um, Oh, Chandra says, are you trying to get her to read all these words? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> all right, so um, what I'm going to do, what I'll show you is um, I want to chop up. I want to not chop up. I want to modify. Let's let's call, let's call that. I want to modify this brush. So I'll put my glassine paper, oh no, I'll put my glassine paper, I'll put a paper towel, just so you can see, because uh, I mentioned this earlier on the stream that that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I use, a na uh, these days I've been using a nail clipper. I mean, you could use scissors. But the reason why I use nail clipper is because I'm going to get a clean, in this case, right, I'm going to you I'm going to get a clean snap or a clean cut uh, this I'll tell you what this is uh, this is a yep a zero neaf bright stiff synthetic um, brush I think it was not hog hair synthetic hog hair is there a synthetic hog hair synthetic hog hair and the reason why I like it is because I like you can't hear it but hang on maybe there's a snap I'm just putting the brush up against the microphone so you can hear that there's a snap maybe and of course this one uh, is I didn't have to chop this down eighth of an inch Neef Taclon angular shader 
Uh, look, I got these from my local art shop, but I reckon anything similar, you know. And of course, this already has the angle, but for me, it's just too long and I want to cut it down. So I will. Um, hi, Vivian. Hello. Hello. Oh, OK, Chrissy. OK, OK, Janice. Uh, chocolat. Oh, don't pronounce the T. I love these French lessons. Janice speaks French, you see. Um, I love it. Chocolat. Did I say it right now, Janice? I hope so. Um, yeah. Okay. So. All right. Here we go. And I'll tell you what. I'll cut it over here so I don't make too much of a mess. So now what I want is I want. I, I won't cut it, but how do I show? I, I only want. I want. Let's just say I want to give it a trim. And I want it about there. So it would be maybe two or... Can you see what I'm... Yeah, I think you can. I've got to be very careful. I'm going to cut little bit by little bit, actually, on an angle. Because it's always good to cut little bit by little bit because you can always cut it... Oh, my gosh. I get a bit nervous too sometimes when I do this because, you know... I mean, I've got lots of little brushes like this, but I want to get it right, you know. So, okay. You wouldn't believe it. I'm holding my elbow, my forearms down on the table. So I've got a steady hand. And when I say, when I modify brushes... That's what I mean. Modify. Okay, so, so far, you can see what I've done. I think. So th there is a point. Uh, I'm going a little bit more. Hang on, let me see. You know... I think I might be happy with that because it's got a nice point. What I might do is just trim it. Just here at the ferrule. Ooh. I think that's it. Maybe just leave a bit so I don't get the metal. Let me see. Yes. There we go. And that's how you modify that brush. Um, okay, Nuria says, I have started to paint a leopard on black background and I'm doing, and I'm going to use gray and white pastel pencils, but it drives me crazy. Oh yes. And I imagine that there would be lots of um, lovely um, uh, values, you know, making sure that Oh, yes, that would look... Oh, I can picture it. Very, very nice. Um, Kathy says, Chrissy, is Neef the brand name of the brush? I think it is. Um, I think it is because look at this. This is Neef here. And uh, what else is there? There's a... You know those other ones? I think... Oh, that No, this is Taclon. No, see, that, no, see that's Art Basics. Okay, so... I believe Neef is the brand. Yep. Looks like it's the same company. I reckon. It looks like it's the same company because look at the way that they have set everything out. I wonder. I think it is, to be honest. It looks like it. Okay, so I'm really happy with that at the moment. So, And you know what? That brush will, st those bristles will stay strong for what I need. Okay, so here we go. So if you don't have an angular brush, and you've got, this is a bright, okay? For me, this is too, it's too soft, and the bristles are a bit too long for me for the size of, um, the, the size, because, uh, as you can see, 
there's the same length here but the ferrule is much wider so therefore it's relative to the ferrule so you know it's these are fine the bristles don't um, how can I say they're not soft they're this really nice but what, what did we call it again the snap the snap so it's that snap all right so again I want to cut this down um, and I will do the same I like the I like the angular brush because I can get into corners and and of course it's um oh it's probably about the same are they both zero Isn't that funny that this is eighth of an inch and that's zero oh it's just about a millimeter maybe two millimeters this one is two millimeters bigger all right so here we go again okay I mean probably it would be a good idea for me to there you go how about that oh that was a nice see look at oh that was lovely a nice clean snap well maybe hang on maybe that's what I need I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to do an angular one. I was going to do angular, but I think, let me have a look. And of course, you know, the bristles now are the the way I want them to be. You know what I mean? They're not too soft. And um, probably more on the firmer side, but it's what I need, you see. And that won't... I don't understand. It won't go like the, the bristles won't leave the ferrule. wonder why it does it on wet paint though because this is really an oil painting brush it's a synthetic oil painting brush so there you go have that in your paint box but not for your nails <laughs> uh, for modifying brushes also I wanted to try these uh, pastel pencils and like I mentioned before, uh, these have eluded me, and so um, they are super, super soft, okay? But they're not very good to sharpen, so let's try them with this. I, I didn't sharpen this properly. I waited till the stream to see what would happen. Ah, uh, see? There we go again. See? Look, that's my problem. I'm thinking I'm going to end up... I'm going to end up... Um, Maybe the blade. Maybe that's a crappy blade. Okay, let's go again. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to use the, um, you know, with the Karandash, it looks like I'm going to have to use this blade. Well, I'm not going to spend... A whole stream sharpening this but you could so I did yeah yeah so it's time consuming with me with this blade but anyway so there you go I'm gonna have to um, do this offline I thought that I could sharpen this yeah so that mm. so that's the Karandash pastel pencils uh, but I've got all the other ones by my side, which are really cool. Um, the Derwent, the Geocondas, the Faber-Castell. Um, and I recommend any of these. Um, the Brunzales, I said the Geoconda. The Carbothello, the Stabilo Carbothello, which is the, the all-rounder, I think. It they're all rounded there is the medium because uh, the Faber Castell have got a harder core the Brunzales are soft the Geocondas are soft there they are uh, the the Derwents are a harder core um, so it, I suppose it all depends what you want um, yeah 
So there you go. Oh, and of course the Contis. Um, there's the Contis as well. Um, those Karen Dar um Oh, g'day, Helen. Hello. Nice of you to join in. Hello there. Um, uh, okay, so let me go back off here. And uh, back to, now I'm going to be using... Let's see how this brush that I modified. Uh, did you buy those? No, I did not buy those. They were gifted to me. Um, no, I did not buy art supplies. No, I did not buy art supplies this week. Um, they were gifted, yes. Um, I have a few Karen Dash and difficult to sharpen. There you go. I have about six different sharpeners and two crank handles. There you go. At least I'm not the only one. Um, I've only been able to sharpen Karen Dash with a blade and sandpaper. There you go. Uh, yeah. All right. So let us try this brush that I modified. And what I'll do is, is I'll do this just so you can see. Let's see how I go. It might need some more. Hmm. I think it needs more. I think I need to chop that little bit off. It's okay if I go this way, which is what I'm doing. Oh, but it's on an angle. I'm doing this on an angle. Okay. All right. A little bit more. That's how it is. And of course you can you can um modify any brush any brush you want oh, i've got to have the strength i think because i need to go maybe maybe that's what i should do hang on <laughs> sorry i'm just trying to I'm trying to concentrate. It might be right now. Let's have a look now. Um, yep, that's better. There you go. I've done it. Yep, that's how I want it to be. There you go. Blends beautifully. So with a bit of, um, you know, with a bit of imagination um, and now you can create so many tools for you to work with. So there you go. It works. So, and of course, this wasn't real, it wasn't an expensive brush. I don't know how much, because I buy them and I just put them away. So when I'm in the art shop, because I know that I'm going to go, well, I'm going to need that. Well, most of the time. So, um, and so I've got this little tape here. So I know that this is for my pastels, because you could easily get away with um, using these for another medium. Um, Chrissy, the end doesn't scratch the surface, no, because I've got about two mil at the end. But yes, I know what you mean. Um, I had to be careful when I did that. So allow that in your head when you're cutting. Yep, we're fine. I mean, there you go. So that's how close I've done it. Yep. So that's how that's done. Uh, got an A2 size portfolio too. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Um, Helen says, um, I got many, many uh, polychromos. They are my favorite and some Pablos and Luminance, but also some pastel pencils. Yes. I know. It's so hard to... Um, it's like, which ones are your, I know, no, you say that polys are your favorite, but then you've got the other ones that you like too. So it's very hard to decide which is the best. 
Um, Jenna says, Chrissy, can you zoom in on that brush? Oh, okay. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. That's it there. And that's the brand that you can see. Yeah, so lots of things, lots of things can be done. I might, actually I might leave Oh, let me just. I might just leave it there. Is that alright? I'll just leave it there now. It's actually okay. Yeah, so, so you can see how it works. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, no worries. Yes, I love I love my polychromos too. I love them all. I love them all. Okay, that brush got a Brazilian. Yes, it did, baby. Yes, it did. And there's the other one. Where I just went. This one just got a, a nice little trim. There you go. So with a little bit of um, yeah. So so at the moment, let me see where am I going here? I need some really darker colours here. Uh, maybe I just zoom out so you can see what colours I'm. Just a little bit. There we go. But yeah, just a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just using. See how? And of course, this is going to last me forever. I know it. It's interesting because I um, I I press really hard with my soft tools and I think you know that's one of the reasons why they fray but I still use them they still use them because um, they're lovely to use but um, but here I can I with the bristles uh, I've mentioned this before with the soft tool sponge uh, with the pan on now it's always it's about the surface on pastel mat I'm referring to okay on pastel mat uh, the the sponge when I when I use the sponge it it only just sits sits on the surface whereas the brush uh, the bristle brush goes right into the tooth and the reason why I say that is because I have tried the soft tools on the on the on pan pastel and then I've gone to use the bristle brush for some other area or like part of that area and of course then the pastel just moves so it's only just been sitting on there do you know what I mean but um, and I think that explains why when I go to when I go to the framer to frame some of my artwork when it comes to doing some maybe putting one into a show or something when I go into yeah when I put mine to be framed she's amazed at the fact that the pastel doesn't uh, fall I mean she always when she's framing she'll put like a little spacer in between the glass and the and the um, the painting 
but I can and but no pastel falls down. I've even got um, I've had a look at some of my older ones that I've framed, and I have not seen the pastel in that little frame, uh, like in on the spacer. So my conclusion, and that's my this is only my opinion. Uh, my opinion uh, it's because when I use the brushes uh, the um, the pastel just goes into the to it sits in the tooth so this is what's happened here um, okay um, I'm okay Helen says I'm teaching I'm, oh I'm teaching workshops at a local store and the Faber and the Faber Castell guy came for a chat. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, we got invited to headquarters. Yes, wonderful. That's fantastic, Helen. Um, Art after dark says Kizzy. Yes, I know the Brazilian. Okay, adult viewing. <laughs> oh, hello, woman. Nice to see you here. Um, Welcome. Packing to fly to see mum, who is now in hospital care. Oh, okay. I hope she's okay. Um, I hope she's okay. Yep. Yeah. It's always, it's always the way, isn't it? Okay. So this brush is perfect. It is working perfectly. Yes. Lovely. And of course, it, you know, and because of the bristle brushes being used, you will find that there will be uh, on pastel mat. I'm always saying on pastel mat. It'll be a little bit blotchy, okay? Uh, not as blotchy as it would say with the soft tools. That's you know, there's give and take. You know, it will be blotchy with the brushes, but you just keep on adding pastel. It's a bit like coloured pencil. You know what I mean? You need to get the the layers in. Um, Yeah. So there's my tip and trick. My tip on how to trim brushes. No, modify brushes. It's always words. Um, Ali says, have you tried Greek simile, orange semolina cake? Yes, very nice. Um, uh, yartopita, yes, that is yogurt cake, yes. Uh, cake, let me see. Kurabiedes, yes, I have, um, which is shortbread in Greek. Um, uh, tsureki, which is Easter, um, Easter bread. Kulurakia are um, cookies. Greek cookies and baklava is of course I know that a lot of people would know what baklava is it's with nuts and phyllo pastry oh my gosh it's making me all hungry yes I have tried most of those things karidopita yes which is a walnut cake um, melopita which is a honey cake I've tried all of those actually now that you're Ali's trying to make us all hungry. Yes. And of course I've got to be careful that I don't create mud here because, you know, Orange and green. Yep, a recipe for mud. So I've got to be careful how I do that. 
Semolina, uh, yeah, sal. <laughs> it's not salmonella cake. It's semolina. <laughs> S E M have a go. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. I make salmonella cake. It's deadly. <laughs> no, it's semolina. There's a difference. There is a difference. Funny people. You're all funny people, aren't you? Okay, so here I'm using, um, I'll just so you can see, I'm using the turquoise tint. Let me just move, I'll move my um, reference to the other side, how about that? So at least you can see what, what I'm picking up from here. Yes, now that's... Uh, semolina is sometimes, um, I don't know, it's some kind of a starch. I don't know what, no calories in salmonella cake. You'll be skinny as a skeleton. No, that's right. That is true. Yes, I, yes, that is true. <laughs> um, hang on. Let's do that, so you can see that. There we go. Um, yes. And of course, this is like a little bit the little bit faster than using coloured, like um, time-wise, uh, than coloured pencil. Well, it's a little brush. Okay, that's why. But in general terms, yes. Uh, you're an hour from the airport and less than an hour I get there but we have but we leave tomorrow 9.30 oh are you staying at the airport horsewoman ah uh, Cherry says Abigail don't say that my husband has had a stomach bug for at least three days oh that's sad oh that's terrible well that's one way to lose weight yep Yep. Oh, and I've got to tell you, I'm starting my new job, my new day job on Monday. Yep. That's. I'm going to be surrounded by art supplies. I wonder if I would get complacent. It's like that, isn't it? You know how sometimes when you're, oh, I, that might stop me from buying stuff. You know when you go into an art shop and you see all of that stuff and you go, oh, I want one, I want that, and I want that, and I want that. Maybe I'm not going to be like that when I'm there. Because every time I go into an art shop, I want everything. You know, or I'm always looking for that new thing, you know. So I wonder what's going to happen to me. Will I be like that? I wonder. Uh, by the way, now that I'm using this brush more and more, it is really cool. Really cool brush. By the way. Yep, I'm loving it. Isn't that good when it works? When it works how you want it to work? Yes. Well, I've been modifying brushes for a very long time now, so I kind of know what to expect, you know, provided that I'm doing it all right. Um, and provided that I know what it feels like when b before I trim, but yes. So, so then if you go in, yeah. Um, Okay, 
Well, at least you don't have to travel far <laughs> for the shopping. Yes, that is true. Uh, that is true. Um, okay. Uh. Um, and Kizzy says, oh no, sorry, Ali says, um, oh, okay, no, oh, sorry, oh, Kizzy says, no, no, sorry, Ali says to Kizzy, I've j um, I'll, and to me, um, I'll just start with the drinks, just skip the desserts, Chrissy. Have you tried Sumada? No. Freddo. Cappuccino, no. Espresso, Freddo, no. I've tried espresso. I like it. Uh, uh, and Kizzy says, yeah, nah, it will encourage you more. You will find reasons. <laughs> oh, you know, I think, well, you know me well, don't you? Um, Kizzy Cat, are you, okay, are you... No, it, no, Kizzy is not Nanette, but same humour, hey. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe, maybe she, uh, she's too busy with customers. Oh, oh, maybe she'll be too busy with customers to look for herself. Well, you know, there is that. I'm sure I'll find. Oh, I don't know. All I'm saying is that I'm excited. I am excited. Uh, relatively new. I pop in and out if I'm awake. I'm also on Patreon, yes. Uh, sometime I just lurk and I am not Nanette. No, that's right. Same humour. I know Kizzy and Nanette are different. Yes, they're different people. I know, but see, I love this. I love this dry humour. Makes me laugh. Okay, they will cut off her hands if she gets dead. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, now I've put I've put a little bit of the turquoise here when I really should have put orange and it will go um a grey and I don't want it to do that so I'm trying to pick up that pastel. You know, my friend. Okay. Also, you'll have a great sense. Uh, oh, oh, okay. You also have a great. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Kizzy's got a great sense of humour. Okay. All right. All right. So let me get to. Um, let me get to my pumpkin. Actually, it's a very uh, light. It's a sort of more on the. No, it is here. We are in the right range here. This is the burnt sienna here. Burnt sienna there, and a bit of the um, raw umber tint to lighten it a little bit. I want it a little bit cool. There we go. Yes. Yes, we have a few comedians here with exceptionally dry wit, which I can't keep up with, which I love. I wish I was as quick as you lot. I wish. I'm not as quick. Okay, those birds are going at it outside your stu Yes. Yes, we need all the humour we can get these days. Absolutely, Cherry. 100%. Okay, Chrissy, the time changes November 6th over here. For Okay, for my info. All right. Okay, I'll tell you what time it is right now. <clears throat> here, it is four minutes past nine in on uh, for in uh, Eastern... Australian time, Eastern Standard Time, you know, 
Yeah. So that's what time it is exactly here. Um, Kathy says, if we could all... If we could all shut up, I had high hopes of Chrissy finishing this piece today. <laughs> See? It's more comedy. <laughs> more comedy. Ah, oh, dear. Maybe I should use a bigger brush. How about that? <laughs> um, yeah. And yes, Helen, my the birds here are going flaming nuts here. Bef earlier, they were just so chattery. It was very hard to be able to have a conversation. This is how, because the uh, it's springtime here, you see, and we've got some uh, trees, native trees, that uh, bottle brush. Okay, it is a red. It it, it is a red. Um, uh, for those who don't know, uh, bottle brush. Well, it's the red one anyway, um, and it's actually uh, quite lovely. And there are little seeds in there, and of course, you know, the birds are attracted to that. And of course, they're all at it, cacking away and just going for it. And yeah, especially in the mornings, early, it just, it's crazy. Our clocks change this weekend. Ah. So then what does that mean? It is six minutes past 9 a.m. right now. Okay, finally my car clock will be correct again. <laughs> I'll do that. Okay, I never know to. I never know how to change the time in my car. You know what? I was like that for a very long time. Okay, that's why I'm laughing because I was very. I was like that, and then I thought, surely I should be able to do that. If I can, if I know how to change. If I know how to work um, a computer for live streams, surely I can change a clock in my car. That's And that's what made me do it. But for a long time, oh yes, for a very long time, I um, <laughs> my car clock was old time. Okay, so, and you love the sounds of the birds? Yeah, they are lovely, aren't they? They're, they are lovely, Helen. Um, okay so it's oh okay so it's just a little bit after 11 o'clock for you cherry wow okay okay so now so we'll be um oh okay so it'll be okay so that won't be so bad that might be all right in the uk Okay, uh, on Jenna says, okay, they say that they're going to stop, uh, going to stop daylight savings, but uh, they never do, yeah. Uh, not all of the states um, have daylight saving here in Australia. Uh, Queensland, which is the state above, the state above where I live in Queensland, they don't have daylight saving. So it doesn't change for them, but I... But I could probably say that, you know, the weather up there is is gorgeous all the time. And so I think it's the angle of or the where Australia is on the on the globe. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. But yeah. I reckon they they'll get more daylight there anyway in summertime Ali says Chrissy have you tried Perrier yes I like it um, it's hard to find drinks to name because I don't I don't drink alcohol that's okay um, uh, but for your sake uh, have you tried cognac yes I like it um, liqueur yes Pasties, no, past, no, I haven't tried that one. Uzo, of course. Uh, Tsipurot, no. Uh, these are all different kinds of drinks, by the way, for people. Mimosa, uh, no, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, and the other one, no. But yes, no, um, I like all beverages. Tea, coffee, water, Perrier, 
wine cognac i like them all i'm not fussy um you know and sometimes like i get into a thing with tea and i have to try all the different kinds of teas um you know um, i love uh, as far as with teas i love um what kind of teas do i like apart from um um, I love the flavoured teas. Um, I like chai. Is it chai? chai? I love chai. Uh, what else do I like? Um, licorice tea I love. Ooh, I love licorice tea. Uh, I love all kinds of coffee as well. Short black, lattes, cappuccino. Yeah, not fussy. Not fussy. <laughs> um, so it's oh, it's oh, it's just past midnight for you, Nuria, here in Malaga. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Malaga? The G is it the sounding G or Malaga? The G is further back in the mouth. I'd like to be able to pronounce that right. Uh, Cherry says, I'd rather the clocks didn't change. So dark in winter in the evenings. I think what it is, though, Cherry, is that, and we get it too, in winter time, it gets dark real quick for us as well. Well, on the East Coast and where I am situated in Australia. Um, so I get that as well. Um, you know, um, but in winter, in winter time, and see now for summer, uh, for summer even more so. It's like it's it was like it was lightning, lightning. There was more light as we were coming into spring. Uh, so I think it's all about the way that the earth is tilting. I think as the seasons go. Um, Janice says, uh, Uzo. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had Perrier. Love Uzo. It warms from the inside. Oh, yes. It's actually nice. Like you put a bit of uh, Perrier in the Uzo. Oh, that's very nice. Might have that later on this evening because it's morning. I might have it later on this evening, maybe. I don't drink much alcohol these days. Oh, you know. Um, the G from the back, Chrissy C. I knew. So, Malaga. Am I saying that right? Malaga. 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 I'll get it right. If you tell me how to say it, I'll get it right. The G from the back. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you're gonna, uh, you're changing as well. Your time, Nuria. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's yeah. Let me see what I can do off off camera to finish this because I still have a couple of hours on it easily. Ah, yes, okay, I said it correctly. All right, well, that's okay. You know, probably thereabouts, hey? Thereabouts. So, uh, what projects are people doing these days? Um, apart from what we see on Share Your Art, are there any other interesting, um, okay, interesting projects that um, you're able to share or working on or maybe works in progress or, you know? This is the difference between using this brush for obvious reasons and this brush. Oh. 
Teeny tiny, not so teeny tiny. But see how, when I was talking about the bristles, um, you need to push them in because they get it does get a bit blotchy when you're using the bristles as opposed to the soft tools. Um, uh, smoked cheese, anyway. Uh, but the accent. Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. But the accent in the first A. Oh, Malaga. Oh, did I say that right? Malaga. Okay, okay. I'll be pouring another big painting soon. Yes, Janice, uh, but not as big as the last one. Very good. You're going to have to show us some, maybe some, um, uh, some progress, works in progress. Okay, I'm working on three large portrait commissions in airbrush. Oh, wonderful. And uh, you'll have to show us as well. Um, Chrissy, I transferred a landscape from a photo I took at Mary, um, at Marysville, Victoria, but had a busy week, so I haven't started it yet. Hope to today. Oh, wonderful. <gasps> You're all going to have to put works in progress on share your art with X Recite. And Nuria says, yes. Malaga. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think I'm even saying it even, even better this time. <laughs> Um, and Abigail says, just filling my sketchbooks, and I'm loving your sketchbooks, Abigail. I'm, j I just think that they're so adorable, um, all of the stuff that you're doing. Um, I don't want to post too much on FB. Oh, okay. All right. Well, do what you can. Uh, horsewoman. Um, let me see what was Smoked, okay, smoked cheese, anyone? Yeah, yes, smoked gouda. Ooh, you know what I like? Um... Uh, for my cheese, well, I love cheese too. I like all the cheeses as well. Uh, but let me see. If I was, if I was putting, um, if I was to do a cheese platter, what would be the cheeses that I would put on my cheese platter? I'll tell you. I would put uh, Jalsberg, which is a uh, Swiss cheese. Uh, sort of, yeah. Um, I would put. Um, a, maybe a Danish blue. Um, I also like to put a gorgonzola, which is an Italian um, blue cheese. Oh, yum. Um, I l would love, um, I don't put gouda on, but I should put gouda. It's very nice. So I'll put, yeah, that's what I would put on my, um, on my cheese platter. Mm. And a bit of, um, maybe a bit of pate and quince paste there's my cheese pa there's my cheese platter with a bit of and what did um uh what did ali say before a bit of uh perrier with a bit of ouzo you know if i'm not feeling like the ouzo i can have the perrier or i can mix it all of that and for the teas you could also have tea with that as well a lovely long black tea black no sugar okay um oh yes ice cream painting yes um okay uh viking cheese yes we've got that here Avigail, we've got that here viking i buy it yes i do i do i know it um helen says i can't post much on FB at the moment. I uh, uh, am home uh, from work because there are some personal issues here yeah, since, since my mum... Oh. oh, Helen. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, you have my sympathy and condolences. Okay. Oh. Abigail says, food and art with Chrissy, Ali, all your fault. <laughs> food and art goes very well. Okay, Ali says, Chrissy, have you tried? Yes, that one, I can't say it. Yeah, it's cheese. These are all cheeses. Uh, 
Kasseri, I've tried that. Um, <laughs> all these cheeses, my gosh. Yes, all right. Well, I've gotten a bit done. You know, I was a bit ambitious when I thought I was going to tackle the big pumpkin, but I've got some of this done, which is okay. Oh, I've done this again. It's not supposed to be this color. I've done it again. I better paint it this color before I do anything else. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> Chrissy didn't have contact with her for 16 years. My mum sadly was an alcoholic and gambler. Okay, not a happy childhood and it all came... Oh, okay, I understand. Oh, here we go. The bots. Let me just get the bots get rid of the bots this is what we were talking about before um, yeah see and I'll just report that as well Got rid of those bots. Yes, they are bots. Yeah. I think everything in moderation, like I understand, everything in moderation. Um... All right. Well, look, I managed to... Well, okay, look, I've managed to get to this. Most important. <laughs> and hopefully um, I'll be able to... There are all these little bits here. There's a little bit there, a bit here and a bit there. And I can start to now blend all my... my um, I'm going to blend all of these in the background and punch this in with all of these details and it'll bring everything it'll bring my big pumpkin forward and my um, all my little pumpkin all my pumpkins in the background it'll push everything back and that's the whole point of blurry backgrounds um, what okay what to do those bots do call me stupid but I really don't I know this is what happens this is when we were talking about uh, what YouTube does. Well, I, it's not YouTube that are doing it. That's doing it. There are these other people that come in and um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, that's what they do. And troll. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what do those? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. Abigail said it. Yeah. Lindy! Oh, hello! Waiting for hubby to have blood tests and uh, ducked in just for a second. Hi and bye. Hi and bye as well, Lindy. Thank you so much for popping in and saying good day. Um, <laughs> love it. Love it. <laughs> um, I got the pleasure of meeting Lindy in person. And I know I talked about it a long time ago, but uh, it was quite lovely to, to meet her in person uh, when I went to um, Queensland for my show. 
the show that I attended. Not my show, not my show, okay? The show that I attended. Yes, that was sweet. Uh, Chrissy, um, I would love to try tiramis, uh, tiramisu. Yes, that's an Italian sweet. Uh, profiteroles, that is French. Love profiteroles. Uh, usually bought from Aldi, but why do they have alcohol in them, especially the genuine Italian ones? Because that's how they make them. Yeah, I'm sure that you could buy the non-alcoholic ones. But yeah, that's how they make them. They put a bit of liqueur. Um, just sometimes it enhances the flavour. That's why they do that. That's like when, uh, especially like um, in Italian and French cooking, um, you know, you'll see them in salsas. They will put a bit of red wine in it. Um, you know, it... Um, but then what happens? The alcohol gets cooked out. And I suspect, uh, well, I don't know about with profiteroles, but um, but when um, you know when we, when you're cooking with special sauces and people will add a bit of white white wine, you know the the alcohol gets cooked out. But yes, wouldn't it be fun if we could all be in a big room with Chrissy teaching us in uh, in an art uh, piece? Oh. I would love to be able to to have us all together, but we wouldn't be. I wouldn't be teaching you. We would be all um, chatting and talking, um, and just uh, having just arting. That's what we would be doing. That would be really cool. No, we would just <laughs> no. We just would not get anything done with this group. <laughs> No, that's what we would be doing. We would be talking and doing our artwork. That's what we would be doing. Yes, most definite. <laughs> I agree, says Nuria. I'm, I'm, oh, Lindy. <laughs> oh, you're still here, Lindy. Oh, wow. Um, yes. But that's it, you know. We would, um, we would be doing our own art. Mm. Or we would be discovering things together, wouldn't we? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I think that's enough for today for me. Just one more. Hang on. One more bit. One more bit here. I want this darker before it escapes me. I'm just putting a bit of black here. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we've got. I've got some of this done. Some of this done talking, but um, it was always it's always lovely. Uh, we could pitch tents on her lawn, <laughs> hire a portal. <laughs> for those for those who don't know what a portaloo is, a portaloo is a mobile toilet. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah, you can all come to my place, pitch your tent. And we'll, we'll make sure we'll get a port -a uh, We could make her rent a huge house for us all. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> okay, Helen says, Helen says, uh, Chrissy, we should consider a Zoom meeting around New Year so we can all art and see each other. I think that is a brilliant idea. Helen, can you please remind me to do that? That is so cool. I like that. It'll take a bit of organising, but I think it's a really good idea. Um, yeah, yeah, we are, oh, and you have Portaloos too, Cherry. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, it was lovely, so lovely to. Um, uh, it was uh, lovely that we could all be together and chat, um, and you know. 
do the, the business. Um, I hope you all have um, a lovely weekend um, and a lovely next week, a following week. Um, you will remind me, Helen. Yes. Put it in your diary. I have to put it in my diary as well. Um, and again, thank you to Janice who's moderating. Um, see you all 